Okay, guys, thank you for joining and welcome back to Basa 360. In this particular video, Juventus are lining up mega bid for Barcelona center forward Memphis Depay. We look at that story into details and then to complete this video, Barcelona's midfielder Pedri will not play until 2022 as injury situation worsens. That story would also be looked at so much into details. Let's get straight into it. As the season wears on, it is clear that Barcelona do not have the best of firepower in their ranks. The Catalan giants have suffered immensely due to their forward line, given the injuries of Ansu Fati, Martin Brethwit and Sergio Aguero's unfortunate health concerns. Barcelona lack a proper center forward. Memphis Depay is the only saving grace in the attack right now, but even he has his own issues. The Dutchman is one of the most productive forwards this year. He has no mercy level numbers in terms of goal contributions. Despite this, there is a growing worry that he struggles to finish in front of goal. In a report relayed by El Nacional, Juventus are interested in the forward. Having lost Cristiano Ronaldo this summer, they have not yet replaced their maximum and thus are preparing a 60 million euros bid for Memphis Depay. Juventus were very interested in signing the Dutchman when he was available for free but were beaten by Barcelona. The old lady offered him a much better contract but his dreams of downing the Blagrana JC eclipsed money. Xavi Hernandez values Memphis productivity especially in between the lines where he's most dangerous but at 60 million euros Barcelona might just be open to selling. Barcelona need a proper finisher for the long term. One name regularly put in the media is Erling Haaland but Barcelona would need nearly 100 million euros to acquire his services. Should they manage to sell Memphis Depay to Juventus? Fans could be directed towards the Borussia Dortmund forward. Haaland is one of the world's most coveted products with other bigger clubs looking at his signing. It would be very difficult to attract him to the camp, especially in this climate. Nevertheless, as for Memphis, it seems unlikely that Barcelona would run the risk of selling him without a proper replacement. The next story, Pedri will not play until 2022 as injury situation worsens. Barcelona have caught the Real Madrid fever from last season as they continue to suffer injury setbacks. Ronald Araujo, Gerard Piquet, Sergino Dest, and Sumani Fati, Martin Brett have been the worst hit from this as per AS report, Pedri will not play in 2021 again. The midfielder suffered an injury earlier this season and was rushed back against Benfica by Ronald Koeman who has come back to bite Barcelona. Not only did they lose the game 0-3 but Pedri was also ruled out for an additional month. Now his injury process would reportedly start from scratch as the club discovers some issues that have aggravated his injury. The goal is to sit him out for the rest of the year to prepare him physically and mentally. Breaking through for the Barcelona first team at 17, Pedri found his place as a starter under Kuma. However, the Dutchman's poor man management became their undoing as the teenager continued to play game after game. Eventually racking up more than 60 games in his first season in the top flight. His brilliance in midfield was not overlooked by Luis Enrique, who called him for the European Championships. Pedro won the Best Young Player award at the tournament before traveling to Japan with the Olympics team despite Barcelona's reluctance. Barcelona can count their lucky stars though. La Masia Starlet, Gavi and Nico Gonzalez have made a name for themselves in the midfield starting day in day out. Once Pedri returns, he will join a midfield consistent of the aforementioned two and Frankie de Jong and Sergio Busquets, the happiest of dilemmas for Xavi Hernandez Cruz. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Let's see your thoughts, let's see your comments in the comment section below. I will see you in the next video. Kindly do stay safe. Until next time, it's a bye-bye.